Your two, one, two, two quiz is tomorrow, okay? You're gonna have to know distance and midpoint. You guys need to know the formulas. So in a question like number one, when I say what is the distance and what is the midpoint between these two points? Notice how I wrote the points on top of each other. I think that's easier for you guys to see. These are my X's, these are my Y's. So if I'm going to find the midpoint, remind me again how to find midpoint. Add the x's and by add the y's and by so I have 3 plus 6 divided by 2 and then negative 4 plus negative 1 divided by 2. Yes? All right, so 6 and 3 is 9 over 2. <clears throat> negative 4 and negative 1 is negative 5 over 2. You can just leave it like that. If you want to simplify it to a decimal or a mixed number, go ahead, but you don't have to. No. Okay, so now we're going to do the distance. Get your distance formula set up. So once we have that in, we don't even have to think much. We just put numbers in. So I have 3 minus 6. Just keep your x's together. And then I have negative 4 and negative 1, right? So what's 3 minus 6? Negative 3. Good, Christian. What's negative 1 minus a negative 4? Negative 3 again. Good. So I have 9 plus 9, which is square root 18. And I have to say, can I break that down? Yes. What's a perfect square and a non-perfect square root 18? 9 and 2, right? 2 and 9, same thing. Square root of 9 is? 3. So your answer is 3, root 2. Do you have to put a plus or minus? No, because it's distance. Good question, but distance, remember, it's always positive. All right, good, good, good. All right, let's move over here. Same thing, guys. Remind me again, how do I find the midpoint? Add the x's divided by 2. Add the y's divided by 2. So negative 4 plus 13. 9 over 2. And then what's 0 plus negative 1? Uh, so negative 1 over 2. There's your midpoint. Is that it is. But if it's not, yeah. You can do it. You just got to take your time. Now look. Here is the next question. Distance. What do I do? How do I find distance? Uh, x minus x. Minus okay. So I have negative 4 and 13, right? And zero and negative one. All right, I just made these up so these numbers are a little bigger than I anticipated, but you're fine. What's negative four minus 13? Uh, negative 17? No, it's okay. Uh, and then what's zero minus one? Or zero plus one, I'm sorry. One. Anybody know what 17 squared is? Uh, Anybody? This is what I calculated with Right, I'm not going to give you anything this big. What's 17 times 17? Is it 249? Close. 243 plus 259. 289. 289. 289. Plus 1 gives me 290, right? And then we have to see, does 290 break down? I believe it does. No. 10 goes into it, but anything else? I believe like 10 times 29. 10 times 29, but are either of those... Perfect squares. Okay, so there's your distance. Again, on the on the quiz, I didn't give you any numbers that are big like that. Just concepts. Doesn't two go into it though? Mm-hmm. Like you don't want to break down. But two's not a perfect square. So guys, now if we're gonna find x and y intercepts, remind me again how to find x and y intercepts. Plug in zero. Plug in zero. So let's watch. This is how I expect you to do this in your quiz tomorrow. I'm going to say 15 times 0 plus 3y equals negative 30. You don't even have to know what you're solving for. If I say right now, is this the x or y intercept? Some of you are like, I, I don't know. Don't even worry about it. Just plug in 0 for one of the letters. So when I do this, what's 15 times 0? Zero? 0. So I'm left with 3y equals negative 30. Now what? Divide by 3. So y equals what? No. Negative 10. How would I write that as a point? <coughs> what? 
How would I write that as a point? What did I plug in for x? Zero, and I got out negative 10. Good, very good. Now we're gonna do the exact same thing, but instead of plugging in zero for x, I'm gonna plug it in for what? Okay, so 15 x plus three times zero equals negative 30. Well, what's three times zero? So 15 x equals negative 30. Divide by 15, x equals negative 2. And how would I write that as a point? Zero, negative 2. Nope. I mean negative 2. Negative 2, comma, 0. That's how you show me your work. <clears throat> Does everyone understand? Yeah. Um, would there, would, are you, go ahead, go ahead. Oh, would there be an equation where you have x on both sides? No. Okay. If you did, you just move it all to one side. Okay. But you won't. Yeah. Can you put a two, comma, negative 10? No, good question. If I put negative 2, comma, negative 10, that's a point somewhere on the graph, right? <coughs> I would go left 2 and down 10. That's not your intercepts. So you have to put them separately. That's a good question. A lot of people do that. Got to put them separately. Number one? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Let's look at this. Let's look at number four. Okay, look, number four, we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to plug in first. I'm going to plug in zero for x, so two times zero squared plus y equals 12. Well, what's zero squared? Zero. Times negative two. Zero. So y equals what? 12, 12. So how would I write that as a point? Uh, zero, comma, 12. Perfect. Now I'm going to do the same thing, guys, but instead of plugging in zero for x, I'm going to plug in zero for Okay, so negative 2x squared plus 0 equals 12. So I have negative 2x squared equals 12. Now what? Divide by negative 2. Divide by negative 2. X squared equals negative 6. Take the square root. Uh-oh. Can you take the square root of a negative number? So your answer here would be no x intercept x okay there you go <laughs> that is a possibility you got square root of a negative number then it would just be no no x intercept no y intercept uh -huh. it's the only place it touches the graph now look here we go again we're going to do the same thing I'm going to plug in 0 for x so I have 0 squared Minus y squared equals 16. So negative y squared equals 16. Nope, not yet. Divide by negative 1. Good draw, though. y squared equals negative 16. Square root. So y equals plus or minus 4 what? You, you can take it, but is that a real solution? No. no. So your answer here is what? No y intercept. Good. So then here, x squared minus 0 squared equals 16. Well, what's 0 squared? So x squared equals 16. Take that square root. What goes in front of my answer? Plus or minus what? Two. Square root of 16. Four. 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 How many points do I have here? Four. Two. So it's four, comma, zero, or, and, negative four, comma, zero. What? <laughs> what do you mean, what? Because it's plus or minus. <clears throat> That's okay. That's okay. All right. <clears throat> Moving along, scooting down. Identify the center and the radius. Guys, these should be, this should be a give me. What is the center and what is the radius of this one? Zero, comma, four. Why is it zero? X is just by itself, right? There's nothing added or subtracted to it. And then whatever is with the Y is our answer, but it's the opposite of what we think. And then what's our radius? Take the square root and it's seven. Questions? That's it?
That's it. Well, I'm gonna write that. You gonna write that one? Okay. Let's go over here to this one. Same exact thing. What's my center? Um, What's with the X? Negative two. So it's really what? No. Positive 15, comma. Wait, wouldn't it be 30 because you squared it? No, you just take the number. That's it. And 17. It's 15, comma. 17. Good. And my radius, hang on one sec. My radius is 11. Fantastic. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's look at the last one. Guys, watch. Look, this is the center. Whatever's with the X, whatever's with the Y, and it's the opposite of what we think. So this is what? Negative 1, negative 7. Negative 1, negative 7, and my radius is? It's the square root of 27. Can I break down the square root of 27? This is 9 times 3, right? The square root of 9 is? So it's 3. Root three, Mr. Nunez, good job. Two. Three. Well, oh, I, I said three, and I wrote two. two it does. Uh huh. Radical thirty. Yep. Uh -huh. <clears throat> All right, here we go, guys. Two more, two more, two more. Shh. When you get to these circle problems, I suggest you draw a picture. So look, I'm just going to draw a quick circle. And then write down the information that they gave you. Sometimes it's easier to do these if you can see. What did they tell me? The center, so put it right here in the middle, is at negative 2, 5. And what else did they tell me? An end point that's on the circle. Does it matter where I put the end point? No. No, I'm just going to put it right here. And it's at negative 1, negative 7, right? What are the two things you have to have in order to write the equation of a circle? Center and the radius. Did they give me enough information to find the radius? Yeah, yeah. Yes. I want to know how far it is from the center to a point on the circle. What's that formula we use to figure out how far something is? The distance. So I'm going to do the distance between negative 2, 5 and negative 1, negative 7. So get your formula set up and fill in. What are my x's? Negative 2, negative 1. Negative 2, negative 1. And the y's? Five, oh, I'm sorry, that's a 7. My bad. 5 and then negative 7. So what is negative 2 minus a negative 1? What's negative 2 plus 1? Uh, negative 1. I'm going to square it. Plus, what's 5 minus a negative? So 5 plus? Uh, two. 5 it's plus 12. 7 is 12. So I'm going to say, OK, well, negative 1 squared is 1 plus 12 squared is 144, and I get the square root of 145. So I'm going to just write here that my center is that, and my radius is the square root of 145. <clears throat> Can we break that down? Maybe. But do I need to right now? No. Why not? Because they're not going to use big numbers. No. <laughs> we might have big numbers. They're not going to be that big. But if I, guys, what's the equation of my circle? x minus h, y minus k equals what? r squared. What happens when you square a square root? It cancels out, so you don't have to fix that. So if I'm going to write this equation, it's x what? Minus what kind of a 2? So it's plus 2 squared plus y minus 5 equals 145 because what this is is the square root of 145 squared what happens okay guys so what happens look when you square a square root the square root and the square cancel so that's why we have right here just the 145 questions that's the hardest, th the, these two are the quote unquote hardest questions on your quiz. This last one. Draw a picture of what they're telling you right now. Talk about a circle. And what do they tell me? Okay, look. What are they telling me about this circle and these two points they gave me? They tell me these are on the circle or are they in the middle? They're in the center. They're on it. So just draw, put them wherever. 
but so they connect from one side to the other. What are they telling you? What information are they telling you here? The diameter. What do we need in order to find the equation of our circle? Two things. Okay, but what do we, what the piece of information do we need for both? We need the center and the radius, okay? So that's what we're going to find. We're going to find the center and the radius. How do I find the middle of that line? What I use? Midpoint. So midpoint, guys, remind yourself if they're asking you, what's wrong with my... Midpoint is to find the center. So what are the two points? 8, negative 3. And what's the other one? 12, 7. Okay, so midpoint. How do we find midpoint? Uh, Add the x's and divide by 2. Add the y's and divide by 2. So what's 8 and 12? 20. 20. And 20 divided by 2 is... 10. What is negative 3 plus 7? And 4 divided by 2 is? So the center of my circle is at what? 10, 2. 10, comma, 2. All right, so it's at 10, comma, 2. Now that I found the center, I have to find the radius. So I have to find the distance either from 8, negative 3 to the center or from the center to 12, 7. Which one do you guys want to do? 8, negative 3? Which one do you think I want to do? Why? Because they're positive. I don't have to worry about negative signs. So look, again, Nunez, you can do whatever you want. You can do the other way. That's fine. Actually, do the other way. See if we get the same answer. So I'm going to do the distance between 10 and 2 and 12 and 7. So get your formula set up. Tell me what's plug in. 10 and 12 in the first parenthesis, good. Two and, seven. Two and seven in the second one. So simplify, my friends. What's 10 minus 12? Negative so negative 2 squared plus, what's 2 minus 7? Five. Negative 5 squared. Remember, a negative times a negative is always a, so don't get negatives under here. So 4 plus 25, which equals what? 29. So my radius is the square root of 29. Do I now have the information I need to write the, center, write the equation of my circle? Yeah. Yes. Your equation is x minus h squared plus y <laughs> minus k squared equals radius squared. So let's write it. x minus what? 10. 10 squared plus y minus Two. what? Squared equals? 29. Why is it just 29? If you square a square root, it cancels out. Good. Guys, if you can do this, you should get a hundred on your quiz tomorrow. There's no flipping signs. There's no which way do I color. That's, it's the distance and midpoint formulas. That's it. Sure. Can you see it?